a new perfect CVSS score 10 vulnerability affecting we reveal at the end of the video remediation, affected versions, and how to detect them. CVE 2024-3094, a vulnerability within the XZ Utils Compression Utilities, underscores the critical importance of application security. The malicious contributor injected an obfuscated vulnerability in the Fedora kernel by hiding specific vulnerabilities behind other issues. This issue has raised an alert in the distribution community, with all the distribution checking if the library XZ project was vulnerable over the past two years. SUSE, Fedora, luckily not Red Hat, were affected. Check how to detect yours at the end of the VE. CVE 224-3094 allows malicious actors to bypass SSH authentication, gaining unauthorized system access remotely. The author of the backdoor was in communication with Fedora team over several weeks trying to get XZ56.x added to Fedora 40 and 41 because of its great new features. The team at Fedora worked several weeks to fix a vulnerability, which it turns out now was caused by the backdoor he had added. The malicious actor has been part of the XZ project for two years, adding all sorts of binary test files. And to be honest, with this level of sophistication, I would be suspicious of even older versions of XZ. Credit for this footage is low-level learning. The CVE 2024-3094 vulnerability involves a sophisticated backdoor mechanism targeting the XZ utils, specifically versions 5.60 and 5.6.1, this backdoor is not present in the source code found in the Git repository, but is introduced in the distributed tarballs, complicating detection and understanding. The SBOM generation of library affecting each version could help detecting which version is vulnerable, but in absence of those CPE, an Astron ASPM or vulnerability management solution like Phoenix Security can help. The bulk of the exploit code resides in obfuscated files within the repository, specifically bad 3 corrupt lzma 2xz and good large compressedlzma which were added to their repository via commit. These files, when combined with the modifications made by the initial malicious script, activate the backdoor. Application Security Management, or ASPM, plays a pivotal role in defending against such vulnerabilities, addressing them at scale and creating campaign of remediation or excluding specific version. The steps to take are identify and track vulnerable versions components, locate where libelzima is implemented within the Linux container infrastructure, vulnerability management, detect known vulnerabilities in libza and prioritize them for remediation. Configuration monitoring, ensure libza configurations adhere to best security practices. Compliance, check if the usage of libza aligns with relevant cybersecurity regulations and standards. Raise exceptions where specific versions are not affected. CVE 2024-3094 serves as a stark reminder of the continuous battle to maintain secure Linux environments and the importance of proactive application security. The affected versions of this vulnerability are Kali Linux, Fedora, Arch TBC, Fedora 41, OpenSUSE, Debian, and Kali Linux for users who updated between March 26th and March 29th. The list is continuously growing so check the article in the comment for the updated list. To discover the vulnerability and the library run this script, you can find the script in the line kept post. As cybersecurity professionals, our response to such threats through diligent application security practices will define the resilience of our digital landscapes. Phoenix, fix vulnerabilities today before attackers exploit them tomorrow.